Good morning, everyone. It's raining here in Florida, and we're really happy about that. So spring is upon us. Everything's turning green. So my next video, you'll see how to make yummy, super simple spring green soups. But for now, I want to talk about resources. Spring is a time of renewal, rebirth, rejuvenation, new life. So what is a resource? A resource is anything, people, place, or thing that supports us. And right now we could all use a lot of support. So identifying our resources is gonna be crucial during this time of renewal and rejuvenation as we reinvent and reimagine who we might be in the world. Remember, we're not going back to normal. There is no normal. And what we thought was normal certainly is not. So, I will say from my heart that my greatest resource right now is my husband. I'm unable to walk and he has shown up with so much love in action, cooking, cleaning, and caring for me. So he becomes an outer resource along with nature. The wind is blowing right now. I smell the spring breeze, taking time to just watch the birds nesting in my garden. Then we have inner resources. These are more invisible, but certainly extremely valuable. So if you go into your heart and just drop that 12 to 15 inches from your head brain to your heart brain, you may be able to identify some inner resources. Noticing your heartbeat is gonna be a valuable tool, especially when I'm activated and I can feel it going more rapidly so I can sit quietly and allow it to settle just by listening. This also builds empathy and we'll talk about that in the next video on resilience. The other resources that I'm cultivating are qualities, kindness, patience. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? And of course, love. The intangible, powerful force that makes the world go round. Stay tuned for more in the next video on resilience because resources plus coupled with res resilience will help you learn how to relax. Stay tuned.